The next step for our Lego superhero involves watercolor. So we're going to get out your watercolor set. We'll have a cup of water at every table. Please make sure you are using a brush where this part is hair. Do not use a brush where this part is shiny black plastic because it will not work out well for you. If your brush is that kind, just leave it in your paint set and borrow one of mine. Your best plan of action on this, we are painting the big things with watercolor. And then when it's dry, we will take the really teeny tiny stuff and use marker on that, okay? Big things are getting painted, little things will be marker. And we are not painting the background at all. Nothing in the background. Also, when you use watercolors, you have to remember it's wet. And if you have two different colors side by side that are both wet, they are going to run together and make a big mess. So for example, if I start with my Lego person's head and give them a nice beautiful yellow face, I cannot paint this face and then go in and paint my brown hair because the colors will run together. Please make sure you are using a lot of water no dry, scratchy brushes. Yes, your paper may start to change color. It'll change back. Okay, face is painted. I cannot paint this right now because that face is still very, very wet. I can, however, skip over and do my yellow hands. Kind of a good plan to find colors that are the same. Get them all done at once. So now I can't paint my cape right here either because my hand is wet. I could skip over to my superhero's shirt. Make sure I make a little puddle in my paint. Paint nice strokes. Anytime I need a refill, there's a pattern to it. Water, paint, paper. If I want it darker, I can lay it on a little bit thicker. Less, a little less water equals darker color. More water equals lighter color. Just your brush should never, ever, ever look all scratchy. Let me show you. When I'm painting, the paper should never look like this. My brush needs a refill. It needs more water. It needs more paint. If you're working and you end up with a big puddle on your project, it is not ruined. You can fix it. Just make sure your brush is dry. So I'm going to pinch it out over the water cup. And then I can run it along the paper like the world's tiniest mop. And for awkward areas that are small, it's best to start at the skinny part and then pull your brush away. Do that one more time. Starting at the skinny section and then pull the brush down.